It's time for a little nitrous. Now you're about ready to race with the big boys. Using nitrous gives you a burst of speed when you need it the most. So when the road is clear, hit the R2 button. You can stock up on that stuff by buying it from those mechanic fools. So good luck and hang on, Issy. Hello, I am Test Drive and welcome to episode 3 of Midnight Club 3 Double Edition Remix. We're in this episode. He's calling himself a fool, apparently, because he is one of those mechanics fools, mechanic fools, whatever. Uh, but then this episode, I guess we'll, uh, I think this is Vanessa, yeah, it's Vanessa right here. Also, if you hit people, apparently, uh... I gotta follow her, fuck. But, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Anyways, uh, we're racing against Vanessa. I actually can't remember what I was trying to say. He was calling himself a fool. And... That's about it, I guess. So, Vanessa's got a pink eclipse, obviously, as you can tell. I'm gonna try and take a screenshot for thumbnail. I feel like I'd have better luck with actually just pausing the game and doing it. But now we have Nitrous, which is pretty cool. I also have not exactly, uh... That's actually... Something else sounds like a fantastic idea. There we go. Uh, I haven't actually tried to fix the... Artifacting? I think it's called Artifacting? That's what's considered Artifacting? Yet. Sadly. So... Don't expect that to be fixed. I wish I could use. There we go. I was in the wrong view. There we go. That's the view that I wanted. Now we have a single. Ah! I got T boned. A single nitrous. I can use it any damn time I please. But for now, I don't know if I'll actually need it. Luckily. I don't really want to take the jump. That jump is terrifying. Also, if you're running, I do have this on automatic transmission uh, mode. If you set up controls for stick shift, you can have stick shift, but there aren't enough buttons that I would like to use on the controller to do anything like that. Go! Hey, I won. Oh, it slammed into the wall, too. You told me they was punks. Cobalts, I just realized. I like cobalts. I want a cobalt. Can I buy the cobalt yet? No, I have to play fucking Tokyo to get the cobalt unlocked. I forget about that sometimes. Oh my god, look at that ridiculousness. Fantastic, 10 out of 10. Uh, this may warrant a restart. By May, I mean I'm gonna get in last place. All right, restart it is. Damn it! No! God damn it! Why is this race hard? Why am I stupid? And go the wrong way. That's a better question. That's how I keep losing. Oh, okay. You're just gonna pass me, I guess. Get out of here. Ah! Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Ah! Damn it! Oh, what the hell I just ran into? So I ran into something. Alright, gotta make sure to go the correct direction this time. No more being stupid. Well, no more being that stupid, I should say. I don't actually want that at the moment. Uh, sure, I'll take it here, though. That works. Alright, go to the left of this car. It makes me make a right turn without fucking using the turn signal. 
Here's your goddamn turn signal. And I'm gonna try this way again. Oh! I got skimmed. I almost got vertical takedown. There we go, finally. Alrighty. You must be that was really paper, hard. Uh, I'm not really rolling paper yet. I have seventeen hundred dollars. Oh, cutscene. Need to see who's on your tail? Hold down the L2 button to look back, and you can glimpse at what's behind you. Keep your finger on the L2 button and press the left and right directional buttons to check out your right from different angles. While you're in the air, holding down the L2 button will give you a solid look at your right in action. You can also check out your right when the game is paused by pushing left and right on the right analog stick. So what you're saying is if I look up or, or use the stick up or down, it won't actually work? That's an interesting theory. I never actually thought about that. Alright, what is that eclipse? Vanessa's eclipse is mildly interesting. It's got smaller... We got smaller wheels on the front than on the back. Hello? I don't think your Eclipse is a drag car. Probably has a stock 210 horsepower, whatever they came with. Wait, where am I going? Ah! Oh, I see, we gotta go this way. I am very confused on where we're going here. Ah! Well, I guess we're going this way. Alright. That's fine by me. There is some artifacting on my screen, and I don't appreciate it. I don't know where those sirens were coming from. Right turn. Ah. Two checkpoints, so three checkpoints left. Let's go. Oh god, minivan. This way. And then. This way. Of course, use my nitrous system. At the moment. What am I saying? English is hard. There we go! Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so Unbeatable Street Racers challenges me, which is the tuner only thingy. Manufactured vinyls have been shipped to the garage. The car rims. And that seems to be it. Hmm, interesting. Got some more cutscenes there. Check them out in the link description below. If you'd like to see them all. So, we have the city tournament now unlocked, and we also have Phil, who rides on a motorcycle, which should show up in a second here. Or is he just on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, now we have the little stars on our, uh, on our map, which are for the specific kind of car that you're in, uh, the club races of sorts. We'll work on those in a future episode, but for now, I think I'm gonna upgrade my car a little bit more. It sounds like a fantastic idea to me, at least. And we'll customize. So detail shop. I don't think I ever showed off the detail shop. So you have vinyls, license plates, which obviously, uh, wait, 2004 California. Oh, 1986 California, 1969 California. Huh, Arkansas. And they have every, I think they have every single state 
from you know 2004 2005 uh for license plates which obviously you know you know what i gotta go with is this hold on is this some plate i'm gonna think it's gonna be oh yeah they have old michigan ones too because you have detroit in this game and they have georgia as well why are they different ones hello Hmm, Minnesota, Mississippi, and oh, those Missouri plates, yeah. I actually have a Missouri plate like that from uh, one of my old cars. And you can also change the letters, so if you want to do whatever. Uh, decals, which you can put on the windows, which do cost money. Until you put a Camaro one on the windshield of my Eclipse, yeah. Do a custom one, yada yada yada. You can do them on the rear window as well. You can do side things, which basically just adds a whole bunch of uh, logos to various spots on the side of the car. As you can tell here, there's a shitload of different slots for them. Uh, don't know exactly what those are. Badges. Or just badges, obviously. And I think they're, yeah, they're all the same seeming. Vinyls, as I mentioned, just, you know, normal vinyl stuff, whatever. And that's about it for there. We're not going to mess around with that for now. So we'll go to the body shop. We'll, we'll, we'll put some sort of silly body kit on this car. I don't think I like any of these. That one's like the least awful out of the ones I've seen so far. This one's like vaguely stock, but it has a splitter on it. Wings West. They do have a lot of real brands too, which is nice. Instead of just being the uh, Midnight Club ones, which there are usually some of. Hmm. God, look at those vents. I'm going to go with this front bumper because it's like the only one that's mildly okay in my opinion. And you got rear bumpers. That one's kind of... Why do these tires seem so big? Why does this car seem like it's like 10 miles up in the air? Oh god, look at that one. Eh... I'll go with this one, because it looks vaguely stock. Sure. Style of hood. I'm not going to worry about hoods, actually. You can change the material of it, too. Carbon fiber. Spoilers. I'm sure some mildly okay ones in here. I mean, not necessarily the ones I'm looking at now. That one's weird. That one's actually not half bad. Look at that. And you can change the taillights. Which are generally pretty ugly. In my opinion. Yeah. And you can also change the material of them once you get in there. You can change like carbon fiber and crap. And exhaust tips. Chris got to have a big rice, rice can. And we'll change the wheels up to something else. I don't think I can do... Uh, oh god, those are expensive. I don't know if I can do... Uh, let's just do some five spokes. Don't think... Oh wait, yeah, you can change the tires too. I forgot about that. Red line, black line, or uh, white outline tire. White stripe. White walls, white letter, red line. Yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, I can't change the ride height until I upgrade the suspension, which I might be able to do with the money I have. Let's see. Nope. Put some airbags on it. I actually can't, because I don't have enough money. Alright, so that's what the car is going to look like for now. It's not too completely terribly awful looking. Uh, it definitely has looked better. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Midnight Club 3. 
and we will take on somebody else. I think it'll be Carlos in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I am out of here. See ya.